The Odenwald Hills in southern Hesse, a traditional location for sawmills which utilizes local wood. A good two-thirds of a tree trunk can be processed into high-grade wood to be used for furniture and building material. Up to one-third will be offcuts, shavings and sawdust. Systematically collected and conditioned, they can become a valuable energy source. When arriving at the sawmill, the trunks are first cut into shorter logs. All the sawdust is carefully collected. Using a gang saw, guided by a laser beam, as much high-grade wood as possible is cut out of the trunk. For example, these two thick boards in the middle. The smaller ones to the left and right are wood pieces for energy. They are sorted out behind the saw. The sawdust drops into a channel under the saw. The high-grade wood is processed further and again there are byproducts rich in energy. Nothing gets wasted. The more the manufacturing advances, the bigger the flow of energy becomes in the hidden channels of the sawmill. Here we see planks being cut for pallets with a conveyor belt underneath. In the end, the flow of energy is sorted into different sizes. The bigger wood chips are used as fuel for big combustion wood boilers. The smaller pieces are the raw material for pellets. Since 2004, the company Wood Energy Odenwald has been operating. It is a merger of six sawmills in the area. Together, they sell their wood byproducts and they produce pellets at the site of the Monheimer sawmill in Gras Ellenbach. Pellets are more than just pressed sawdust. Fresh from the saw, sawdust contains roughly 60% moisture, so it has to be dried first. To dry shavings and sawdust, Wood Energy Odenwald only utilizes low-grade scrap wood. It is not suitable for home heating, but the combustion boiler for pellet drying is able to make use of it. The method can be considered as an energy transfer from low-grade scrap wood into high-grade pellets. Laid out three inches high into a so-called shavings cake, Sawdust and shavings move slowly through a horizontal belt dryer. After 15 minutes, the material's moisture is reduced down to 10%. 1% of wheat or corn flour is added, it serves as a binding agent, then it enters the loud and vibrating press. The press works with a rotating matrix and three counter-rotating rollers. High pressure is used to drive the sawdust through the holes of the mattress. Leaving the press, the pellets are screened and cleaned of dust. Wood pellets are a standardized fuel. Abrasion resistance is measured by vibrating them forcibly. All results are documented daily, one of the preconditions for certification as an energy producer. Through this hose, all the pellets leave the production site and are transferred into the storage silos, where they continue to dry and harden before they are delivered to the customer. The Wood Energy Odenwald facility produces about 20 tons of pellets every day. That comes to the energy equivalent of 2,500 gallons of light fuel oil. This equation is exact, as pellets can replace oil in a heating system directly. Wood pellets are a form of regionally produced bioenergy that any private home can use. The delivery by tank wagon is not much different than heating oil. To be stored in a house, pellets need two hoses. One to transfer the pellets into the house, the other one to suck out the dust. 
Unlike heating oil, wood pellets don't need a safety tank to protect groundwater. Any closed room can serve as storage, which is an important advantage for house owners. The encased boiler is usually installed in the basement, connected to the central heating system. Loading runs automatically and due to their high energy content, a homeowner will get along with one or two deliveries a year. The demand is highest in winter, but they are delivered all year round.